okay so students in this video we are going to study about uh, the short tricks uh, some simple abbreviations uh, which you can use uh, while uh, learning the tissue chapter and uh, this uh, uh, video deals with the um, short tricks related to the epithelial tissues right so you can see over here that uh, animal tissues uh, have used a very uh, small abbreviation that is c men okay so c men uh, from here you can see that c stands for connective tissue m stands for muscular tissue e stands for epithelial tissue n stands for nervous tissue so animal tissue uh, is divided into four types and uh, what are those it is c m e n c men okay so after this uh, we're moving on to epithelial tissues so when we're moving on to epithelial tissues you can see that here i have um, divided them into two uh, different types one is your uh, simple that is single layer as you can see over here just a single layer is there next is stratified stratified means many layers you can see over here there are many layers of cell one after the other such an arrangement is known as stratified simple means single now if you look at the way i have drawn uh, this um, diagram over here you can see that there is no gap between the cells right so remember one thing epithelial cells have got no gap in the middle so they have no intercellular spaces right they have got no intercellular spaces they are not innervated by uh, blood vessels so they are not vascular in nature okay uh, so if it is not vascular in nature from where do they derive their nutrition just below the epithelial cells just below the layer of epithelial cells lies the connective tissue lies the connective tissue jaha pe vascular tissue that means blood vessels connective tissue may uh, present hoti hain to wahan se epithelial tissue um, can easily uh, take the nutrition from there with the help of diffusion theek hai so epithelial tissue ki two main characteristic hai ki they are tightly packed they don't have any kind of intercellular spaces and they are not vascular in nature right that means they are not innervated by any kind of uh, blood vessels so they derive the nutrition from the underlying connective tissues clear now if we uh, just check uh, just see there are um, five types uh, of the epithelial tissues which i have uh, written here so first one if you will see is the squamous epithelium next is cuboidal then columnar then ciliated and last one is the glandular epithelium so squamous epithelium for squamous epithelium uh, you just need to remember this um, one line that is uh, it is present in the lining of bob sam so bob and sam is very easy to remember bob sam so lining of bob sam now what is this bob sam squamous epithelium these are very flattened cells and uh, flattened cells these are present in the blood vessels lining of blood vessels b blood vessels blood vessels ki lining ko hum endothelium bolte hain fine then o stands for esophagus that's a food pipe b stands for bowman's capsule now this is a structure which is present in your uh, kidneys okay so you all know nephron is the structural and the functional unit of kidney so bowman's capsule is a part of the nephron right it is present in the kidney s stands for skin a is for alveoli in the lungs and m stands for mouth so where is squamous epithelium found it is found in the lining of bob sam what is bob sam so just remember this and easily you can uh, remember all of these locations where it is present moving on to cuboidal epithelium now for cuboidal epithelium you have to just remember this dog go kitchen dog go kitchen so dog now what is this dog standing for this is standing for duct of glands duct of glands what are glands glands are actually those organs you can say it can be a cell it can be a tissue it can be an organ which secretes any important uh, um, enzyme important hormone it can be any important secretion like mucus uh, like tears like saliva right so whichever organ inside your body is producing any kind of secretion that is called gland so 
those glands uh, are basically have duct duct means some channels through which they can actually pour their secretion so those ducts will actually have cuboidal epithelium so that is why duct of gland dog fine go stands for gonads go go stands for gonads gonads means the reproductive organs ovary and testis uh, which form the male and the female gamete okay ovary forms the egg cell and the testis forms the sperm so these reproductive organs are lined by cuboidal epithelium and they lead to the formation of gametes k stands kitchen k for kitchen and this k stands for kidney tubules right so kidney tubules again the structure is present inside your kidney so for cuboidal epithelium just remember dog go k fine now we are moving on to the next one columnar epithelium for columnar epithelium just remember pigs pigs very easy you all know a uh, pig is an animal so pigs p stands for pancreatic tubule i stands for intestine g for gall bladder and s for stomach and stomach contains gastric glands so pigs next is ciliated epithelium ciliated epithelium you will just remember uh, one very uh, you know two words you will remember rob kfc i hope uh, kfc everybody knows what's kfc uh, we all have visited it once or the other right so uh, rob kfc r stands for respiratory tract trachea o stands for oviduct b stands for brain ventricles which contains cerebrospinal fluid k stands for again kidney tubules f stands for fallopian tube now you can see that in o and f i have underlined this uh, it has green so the reason behind that being fallopian tube and oviduct is the same thing right so fallopian tube and oviduct is the same thing so i just mentioned here so that we can just complete our word kfc and we can remember it well uh, c stands for central canal of spinal cord in your spinal cord you know there is a central canal through which the cerebrospinal fluid runs from the central canal so that is again lined with the ciliated epithelium remember wherever cilia is present it helps in uh, movement uh, of some particular um, thing in a particular direction theek hai jaise maine abhi bataya ki central canal of spinal cord mein it helps in the movement of uh, cerebrospinal fluid kidney tubules mein it helps in the movement of the filtrate fine fallopian tube or the ovary duct uh, it helps in the movement of the egg respiratory tract may it helps in the movement of the dust particle or any unwanted particles away theek okay? hai so just remember rob kfc so this is the um, location uh, where you can find the ciliated epithelium next is for glandular epithelium for glandular glandular epithelium just remember pins p i n s pins so p for pancreas i for intestine n for nasal passages and uh, s stands for uh, salivary gland right so this uh, glandular epithelium glandular epithelium can either be again you have a uh, single cell you can have just a single cell secreting uh, some secretion okay or you can also have multiple cells or you can also have multiple cells uh, secreting um, any kind of secretion right so very simple example of a single uh, cell is the goblet cell which secretes the mucus and for multiple you can have the salivary glands right so these are your simple abbreviations you can just see i'm just focusing over here for squamous epithelium you will remember lining of bob sam for cuboidal dog go kitchen for columnar epithelium pigs for ciliated epithelium rob kfc and for glandular epithelium just remember pins so if you just remember these uh, short abbreviations uh, i don't think so there will be any issue in answering any kind of question which you get even as an mcq or any other kind of question so just remember these small abbreviations and uh, 
make your learning fast